Hello, I'm David Price, and I represent the 4th District of North Carolina in the U.S. House of Representatives. This is the first video in a bi-monthly series responding to some of the hundreds of constituent letters I get every day. I'm always looking for new ways to interact with residents of the 4th District, and I hope you'll find these videos informative and helpful. Over the past few weeks, many of you have written in with concerns about the reauthorization of portions of the Patriot Act and how it pertains to surveillance by the National Security Administration. As the former chairman and current senior member of the Homeland Security Appropriations Subcommittee, I agree that we must ensure that our efforts to protect the homeland do not come at the expense of the constitutional rights and civil liberties that we all hold dear. In fact, I've opposed recent extensions of the Patriot Act and have advocated substantial reforms to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, which I believe have used national security sometimes to justify questionable, in some cases unconstitutional, infringement on the rights of individual Americans. I also oppose legislation that uh, failed to adequately protect Americans' uh, privacy online. Earlier this week, after careful consideration, I voted for the USA Freedom Act, which ends bulk government collection of data, including phone and internet activity, and prevents government overreach by limiting the federal government's ability to collect any new information. Bulk collection is a gross, uh, perhaps even unconstitutional overstep of the intelligence community's authority. I'm very pleased that the President will soon sign these provisions into law. To help ensure that these surveillance activities don't happen again in the future, the bill also requires robust reporting by the Attorney General, by the Director of National Intelligence, it declassifies FISA court opinions, and it mandates that the intelligence community provide an unprecedented amount of information about surveillance programs to the entire public. Now, it's true that this bill includes a short-term extension of some Patriot Act provisions. I actually believe this will prove beneficial because it guarantees ongoing uh, congressional oversight. The need for regular reauthorization provides Congress new opportunities to watch the intelligence community, the type of oversight that produced the provisions ending bulk data collection. I understand the concerns of many constituents about intelligence and surveillance uh, activity. You can rest assured that I will continue to follow any new developments. And I thank you all again for watching. I'll be posting more video responses over the coming weeks, so please visit price.house.gov contact to write in with questions or concerns. Thank you.